Hello, YouTube. <clears throat> Buddy Roy Kilo here. Coffee and a smoke time. Guess I missed it last week. Just didn't feel like doing it, to be honest with you. Didn't miss shit. Either it was hot or it was rainy. And I'll tell you what, we got a whole bunch of that down here. It goes from deep hearted spring with all the rain, then it goes into full blown summer with all the heat. So, it is what it is. Hope you all been doing all right yourselves, by the way. Yeah, speaking of the rain, I um, left my gas can outside and it um, got water in it. And so, with all this rain, of course, not getting much sun, so I needed to run the Jenny. Put some more gas, put some water in the in the Jenny, so it quit running. It would run a little bit, then stop. Run a little bit and stop, and all that stuff. So, gotta go get some more fuel. That's after the same thing pretty much happened to the mutt. And uh, what was it? Last week I got the uh, got the van stuck in the swamp hole down at the end of I'm heading out of here. So the van's sitting over there in a mud pit right now. The neighbor's supposed to come over and give me a hand, hopefully today, uh, with this tractor, get it pulled out. I have to run into town, get some gas, a bottle of whiskey. Well, not whiskey. Rum. Rum-a-dum-dum. -dum. <laughs> mm. Yeah, and it's full-fledged tick season. But you mind picking me up a bag of these granules you put down on the ground and kind of knocks the ticks down. But uh, laid them down pretty heavy last week, and it was about I don't know I think about four hours later we got a torrential downpour, washed it all away. So after a few days of raining, figured it was about done, and we weren't supposed to get any rain that that day. <laughs> Same fucking thing happened. Put the gradials down, boy. I'll tell you what I'm laying them down to. And away they wash. So somewhere down, somewhere down in the woods, there's, there ain't no ticks. We'll see how it goes. I did some research on ticks last night. And there's a bunch of myths that I was brought up to believe. Ticks don't burrow in your skin. All they do is stick their head in. Well, it's not even their head. It's a little tube. It's kind of like a straw that's on the top of their in front of their face, and people think they might burrow in because it's, if you're really allergic, you can, you can they'll swell up around it. And ticks don't fall out of trees; they just kind of latch on to the height of what the the their host that they're aiming for is. Pretty cool shit learn some stuff and I've been battling a couple mice here and uh, I know I've smelt some dead things in here a few times <laughs> I finally finally seen the mouse yesterday and I bitched up birdie I told him I was like you fucker you're a cat you're supposed to be getting these fucking mice and I'll tell you what about 10 minutes later I'm playing my video game and I hear kaboom, and he's inside the cabinet area. It scared the shit out of me. You got that bugger. I sat there and listened to him crunch on it for a while. So I'm guessing what I'm smelling is random guts underneath there that I can't get into because it's underneath the furnace and sink and all this shit. So I guess we're going to have another stench coming on here. Whip, he's been doing all right. He's hanging out. He's staying outside most of the nights. Uh, rainy nights, I'm letting him in. But if it's nice out, I make him stay outside. I got something to do with my vegetable cans of soup. Vegetable soup that I've got just an overabundance of. I've been, uh, every couple days, I've been pouring a can of that in on top of the dog food. Gotta get rid of that shit. And I've got, speaking of food, uh, I got big, several boxes behind you, behind y'all, 
in front of me. I'm going to drop off over at a friend's house, a local friend's house. She's got teenage kids and stuff. I'm sure they'll eat. they got a bunch of them protein bars and stuff like that. I just don't got room for them, and I ain't got no teeth to eat the shit anyways. Okay, yeah, got got some news at uh, Summer Camp Music Festival in uh, my home area, most of your guys' home area too. We're in Peoria, Illinois. They um, they're gonna tame it down after this year, going to hiatus or some shit like that, which is a bummer. Cause I'm not gonna make it, and that's this weekend. That's a bummer. Um, now you got a way to get up there, and I don't got the cash, and I got shit that needs done here, so. Oh, well, I went to several of them. I've got a bunch of memories. Matter of fact, that band right back there, Mo, they'll be playing there. They always do. But, in light of that, I think it's uh, July 1st here, um, well, not here. Down the road in Willow Springs is uh, going to be a twenty or a four twenty event, so that'd be fucking cool. I've been talking with them folks and all, uh, just kind of feeling them out, seeing what they've got, what their ideas is and shit like that. I plan on getting hold of them this week and making it out there, but I'm not sure if it'll be this week yet. But it's only Wednesday. We'll see. Just want to see, make sure they got their ducks in order so they don't get into trouble. And uh, see if there's anything I can help out with. It's just a it's just a daytime event. It's not, they don't plan on doing any kind of camping, so I'm not sure how how involved I'll get because I don't like to leave. I like to go and be able to hang out and have fun for the night. But that's a it's pretty badass. I'm I'm looking forward to looking forward to that. Okay. Yeah, I already talked about the Ginny and the gas thing and you know, all that good stuff. So that's really about it. I've been uh, working on the pantry area back here trying to get uh, Booba's um, general store cleaned out. A little past time on that there, but <clears throat> I don't seem to be an issue quite yet. But boy, do I got a freaking stockpile of food. And I'm, all the shit that I'm not going to eat that I just... I know I'm not going to eat, and I'm not going to hold on to it for the prepper value of it. Um, I'm, I'm boxing up. It's, it's moving down the road, fed to the fucking critters, or what the fuck ever. I just ain't got room for it. I don't have the other camper here yet. Church is still sitting over there on Freedom Road. So, uh, can't really put it in there, and that thing's fucking mice infested also. I'll stick Purdy in there to get that taken care of. And, um, yeah, other than that, it's, uh, it's going to be a beautiful day out. It's sunny out. I hear my charge controller or my charger back there kicking in. My house battery, it's already jam-packed full. And I'm guessing my communications battery is full also by now. I've got to move the um, solar panels up towards the front of the camper because they're on the back end of it and there's too much shade back there. So we'll see how things go. Maybe I can get Andy to give me a hand and we can get this uh, these solar panels moved here. I'm going to have to use some lumber I don't want to use. I did find some cheap lumber, but Christ, it's freaking halfway to St. Louis. So I have to debate on that one. Wish my brother Kevin Gillick's uh, guillotine's uh, work was closer. That'd be nice. I have access to that shit. Um, ham radio seems to be working good. The propagation's starting to look better here as of uh, yesterday, anyways. I got several more parks yesterday and a couple more this morning. Get off here. I might flip it on again here real quick and go see what I can get, and then holler out for Booba, see if he can help me get that fucking van moved. Problem is, I don't even know where the hell I'm going to frickin', <clears throat> frickin' put it. 
I guess just get it out of the mud right now and park it up in the gravel up by the road. I really hate to park it up by the road. We do got a bunch of fucking degenerate hillbillies that live down this way, but that's pretty much fucking everywhere. Just they might not be called hillbillies there, here, there, wherever. Oh shit, we're up to 10 minutes. Fucking yak in my mouth away. Ah, I'll finish the cigarette anyways. The uploads seem to be going pretty quick nowadays, so. Uh, the Obama phone um, works sometimes when it wants to work. And uh, my visible phone is still kicking ass. I'm not even sure if I've got the antenna booster thing um, pointing in the right direction, but seems to be working okay. And don't know how many gigs of data I'm jamming through down here, but probably too much. Still watching Lost. I think I'm starting the, uh, finished the second season last night. I just watched two episodes. I had to fire the big Jenny up because the little one wouldn't do it. I needed to make sure I had power going for my, uh, refrigerator. I had some, uh, um, Hello Fresh cold packs. I can't find them anywhere. My last guess is they might be in the big cooler. I might dig that out and see if they're in there. Because I need to start uh, making a transition from using this uh, refrigerator. And need to turn it back into a freezer. Not that I really got anything to fucking freeze. So They ain't really got any booze uh, and soda to make cocktails with. So it's kind of mute almost. Hey, I'll just keep using it as a fridge. Usually what I drink, I just drink it freaking straight. Made my stuff and make white Russians. That's kind of nice to have freaking ice with. I think I might have a couple drinks tonight. Seems like every time I say I'm going to, I never do, though. It's been a couple days, but me and 80 tore it up pretty good the last time he was there. So. Alright, I'm going to 12, 15 here, so I guess it's about time to wrap it up. Um, hope everyone's having a good time and everything is straight in your life. And I'm having a dandy old time out here. So, I'm going to let y'all go. Roy Kilo out.